Hey, it's Ben. Uh, in here, I have five beetle larvae. Uh, they are emerald euphoria. You can maybe see one or two at the edges, but it's kind of bright in here and they don't like the light, so I think they've moved to the inside. So if people want to see what they look like, um, I've got an entire bag of dirt and this little container that I think is going to be proper for what I'm trying to do. Let's put a little dirt in the bottom. Now we want to keep the humidity fairly high in this dirt, so that's why this container has a lid. Feels a little moist, so I've got a little sprayer bottle I'm gonna hit it with just to. I don't want to drown it, but just give it a little moisture. It's been shipping. And then in here, I gotta make sure that all five babies are okay. So, let's see if we can count them. Now, I've never touched a beetle grub yet, so I'm very nervous about this. You know what, I need something gentle. Okay, I've got this little stick and I'm gonna do this. I feel like this is probably better than shaking it. Um, and we're just gonna count them and make sure that each one is alive. Um, or none of them died during shipment. Okay, and I also want to kind of mix this up a little. There. Okay, I see one. Can, I don't know if you can see them right there. They're really kind of transparent. Hey, little buddy. You okay? I mean, he's curled up, but that... Oh, yeah, he's alive. Oh, uh, okay. You're going in. There you go. Okay, that's one. Gina, do you want to see these dudes? Gina doesn't really want to see them. <laughs> Here he is. Look at him. He's, Ew. he's digging. Gross. <laughs> You're on video, by the way. Mm -hmm. Well, audio. There's five in that little container? Yeah. Wow. Are you sure? Well, we're going <laughs> to find out. I don't want to jostle them, so I'm going nice and slow. That one's the worm. Yeah, they hate being on the top, so. Oh. He's like, this is not my home. The emerald euphoria are like really friendly beetles, and even as larvae, they don't bother each other too much. Um, and I believe these are L2s, which means they'll molt again and get bigger. So they're like, if you want to think of it this way, they're like medium sized. All right, I see one there. I think I see two I right now. Two, yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I just want to be careful. Oh yeah, that's alive. He did not like being poked. Oh, oh poor thing. Little fella. Oh, it's okay. You okay. gross little worm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That one moved, right? We saw the move. That one looks, doesn't that look like it's a different color? Yeah, that one's moving. Okay, bye. It's like white, and the other ones are kind of clear. Right? It might be close to molt. When they get close to molt, that happens. Okay. Might be ready to hit L3. Yeah, I was doing a lot of reading because mm -hmm. this is my first time caring for beets. That's two, right? That's yes. why I put it on video. Mm -hmm. All right, this guy, I definitely can see he's alive. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just kind of disturbed. Now, if you don't have a real gentle hand, this stick is probably not a good way to do this. But I trust myself more with a stick than like a spoon or something, which I've seen. Mm -hmm.
people use. Oh, he's got a little poop coming out there. Gross, ew. <laughs> oh, they are gross. I'm not. Let's not pretend they're not. Oh, little buddy. This one's kind of wet. So he's number four. I'm gonna stop calling him he. We yeah, don't know. know. Damn, number four. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a little jostly. Look at how like yeah. clear they are. I know. Well, that's what I was saying. The other one is so white. Yeah, they. Um, I knew that they were kind of see-through, but yeah. that it's kind of throwing me for a loop how clear they are. Yeah, these things are gross. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're just looking for number five. Let's cover this dude up. He's, oh, there we are, number five. Aww. That one's also really white. He's a big dude. Like in different stages. So, um, I don't want them necessarily on top of each other. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick this guy. Oh my God, you're picking it up. Just so gentle. <laughs> Scared me. Most larvae will bite a little bit. <laughs> Very, I'm a huge baby. Do you want a spoon to grab it? Like now that you know where it is. No, it's good now. Okay. Yeah. They're all kind of on that side, but they'll uh -huh. they'll spread out. Yeah. They were on, on top of each other in that little. Yeah, and they don't bite each other. Like I, I think if any larvae like didn't bite, it would be these guys because mm -hmm. they are. Um, I just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just don't think they might not bite. Spray them with water. Um, I could put a little, I put a little water before. Oh. You don't want to overdo it. Yeah. A little water spill. And I don't want like giant chunks of this to come out and rain down giant mm -hmm. dirt boulders on them. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this is going to have to be all the way to the top either. Cause that way you have a little room to put some stuff on top. Cause you can feed them with like little fish pellets. You can um, put a little uh, fruits or vegetables in there for them to eat. Um, you don't really have to mess with them too much. You just kind of set them up and um, you know check on them maybe once a week, once every other week. Um, it's pretty low maintenance. This really isn't the part where they're your pet. <laughs> they're kind of the pre-pet. Baby. Baby pet. So this is like, it doesn't have a gasket on it. Um, uh, but it does seal pretty tight in here if you clip it. Um, so there's a little bit of air at the top. And that'll just give them some air. And as long as I open this about once a week let the air circulate out a little that should be fine you really don't want them to have access to a ton of air because then the humidity gets out and they dry up and that's the biggest danger uh, all insects are vulnerable to desiccation or most if not all anyways uh so that's the video bye